Hi everyone! I wanted to show you a whole slew of mysteries that I recently picked up at the library. And I am very excited to read many mysteries in December. I am not officially hosting Cloak and Dagger Christmas. I talked about in recent things. I just needed to simplify um, kind of booktube commitments at the end of the year. And uh, I am still planning on reading many mysteries in December. So I will show you all of the ones that I picked up from the library. It was a very big haul and I'm excited for it. Uh, so the first is As Death Draws Near by Anna Lee Huber. This is the fifth, let's see, I can tell you. Yes, this is the fifth um, in the Lady Darby mystery series. And they are, they start out kind of Regency era and then slowly over time it's creeping towards uh, Victorian. So right now it's July 1831 um, and Lady Darby is recently married in this one and uh, most of them are set in Scotland and they are delightful. She is an artist and then also an amateur sleuth who is going to team up with her now husband uh, to investigate crimes. Uh, so um, she has been put on this current case from her, uh, brand, by her brand new father-in-law. Um, and I will be curious kind of what ends up happening in this one. And I'm excited to see what her married life is like in this one. Uh, then a series that I keep hearing about, and this is more cozy than I usually go for, kind of the punny, cozy mystery series. I don't tend to enjoy those as much. It has to be kind of more historical mystery that happens to be cozy. But I keep hearing about this and I want to give it a fair shot. And that is Death by Dumpling by Vivian Chen. Um, this is the first in a noodle shop mystery series set in, I think it's Cleveland, Ohio, um, which I don't think I've read anything else set in the Cleveland area. Um, and I'll be curious what I think of this. I have not read any of them. Uh, then I picked up four in the, what are they called? Hold on. The... British Library Crime Classics series. Uh, and I was delighted to see that the library had these. So uh, two by Freeman Wills Crofts. Um, and the first one is Antidote to Venom. And it is a mystery that takes place in a zoo, which is such a, a not common setting for mysteries. So I love the sound of that. And then the Hogsback mystery, I think this is Lancashire is where it's set. Um, and there are house guests at a nice house. It's set in the countryside and I mean, just lots of elements of a good British mystery that I love. Um, then Death of an Airman. I just thought this sounded interesting. The only other kind of flying mystery that I've read is Death in the Clouds by Agatha Christie. So I was intrigued by the notion of this and it is rather on the short side. Um, so 240 pages. So definitely an easy one to get through. And then lastly, a Christmas one. The Christmas ones that they, they have had, uh, British Library Crime Classics, I have not enjoyed any of them. So this is why I didn't want to buy another one. Um, and the library had this. So Murder After Christmas. It's on Boxing Day. And this one, someone who is in a Santa suit is killed. Um, so I will be curious. Hopefully I enjoyed this one. This is a different author than any of the other Christmas mysteries that they have. Um, it was first published in 1944. There is Murder, Mince Pies, and Misdirection. So I am very hit or miss with Golden Age fiction. That's why I really liked that the library had these. Um, I typically don't buy Golden Age uh, crime fiction on a whim. Um, then I have The Mitford Secret by Jessica Fellows. So I just read, oh, all the titles blend together. Was it The Mitford? Nope. The Mitford Scandal, maybe? Now I can't even remember. I think it was The Mitford Scandal. Um, anyhow, this one is set at Christmas time. And so I worked over the past few months. I read three of The Mitford, or no, it was just two. Two uh, in this series to catch up so I could have a Christmassy one to read at Christmas time. And I'm very excited to continue in this series. Louisa Cannon um, is the main sleuth and um, she is married to Guy. And they uh, just end up having run-ins with the Mitford family. Uh, so there is going to be um, a crime from the past, kind of a cold case that at this house party, Louise is going to investigate. And I'm very curious. Uh, then my lovely friend, Kate from the novel Nomad, we have several mystery series that over the years we're very slowly working our way through. Um, and one is the Her Royal Spinus series by Reese Bowen. And so 
the next one, the next installment in that is Love and Death Among the Cheetahs. And I am very much looking forward to this, seeing what, um, in this one, Georgie is now married. So seeing what married life for Lady Georgie is going to be like. And um, yeah, hopefully we will enjoy it. And then the first in a new series, uh, or new-ish, uh, called Deception by Gaslight, a Gilded Gotham mystery. Typically, Gilded Age New York, I don't, I just am not drawn to it. Same thing for Hollywood. I'm not drawn to it, but I wanted to give this a try just in case. I mean, the cover is absolutely stunning. So we will see what I enjoy. I think it's a female sleuth. Um, 1888, and there is a jewel thief who is going around, which I do typically jewel thief uh, mysteries. I am intrigued by this. So we will see. Um, then I have here, I think this is the 15th Maisie Dobbs, um, The Consequences of Fear. I am so sad. I just saw today that the 18th Maisie Dobbs is going to come out next year and um, it will be the final one. I do like it's going to end on a strong note, but I will just be really sad for the series to be done. Um, but it's just an absolutely amazing mystery series. Love it so much. And then this is the fifth in the Constable Evan Evans series by Reese Bowen that's set in a little town in Wales and it's called Evan and Elle. All of the, um, all the titles are puns. It's just little sleepy town. Um, and, uh, Evan has one girl that he's, uh, interested in, but then there's one lady in the town who is just determined to woo him and they're just really funny. They're fun. They're lighthearted. I really enjoy Reese Bowen's writing. Uh, then this is a series that I've wanted to try for a while. It's the, oh goodness. Now I'm not going to be able to tell you what the name of the series is, but this is the first in it, The Right Sort of Man by Alison Montclair. And it's right after World War II and they run a matchmaking agency. So then I don't know how that's going to launch off into a murder mystery series. Um, hopefully not everyone that they try to match up <laughs> ends up being found dead. I will report back um, kind of what I find. Uh, so yes, The Right Sort of Man. And I think there's four out in the series now. Um, I am eager to, to try this and hopefully have an, yet another series to enjoy reading. Okay, my books are all falling. Let me fix this. Okay, there we go. Uh, the next is going to be a buddy read in the month of December, and that is To Shield the Queen uh, by Fiona Buckley. This is an Elizabethan set mystery, and um, I'm going to be reading this with Jess from Dear Readers. This is Jess over on Instagram, and I love buddy reading with Jess, and she loves mysteries so much. Um, so yes, this will be quite a treat, and um, can't wait to see what it's like. I love historical mysteries. It's just kind of my favorite mystery subgenre. Uh, then the second in a series that I have been meaning to continue for years, the Praveen Mystery Series. I read the first one and loved it, The Widows on Malabar Hill. And so the second one is The Satipur Moonstone, and it is set in the early um, 20th century in Bombay, and she is a lawyer. Uh, so it is a look at her life as a female lawyer in this time in Bombay, and looking forward to continuing on. The fourth one, I think it is, just came out this year or is about to come out. So definitely want to keep, you know, catching up with that. Um, then we have The Haunted Season by G.M. Malier. Uh, and this is part of the Max Tudor mystery series where he's former MI5 and now he's a vicar. There's only eight in the series. So this would be an easy series to kind of conclude and read all of them. And I really like the ones that I read. So definitely want to continue on with that. Okay, that is my big stack of mysteries that I hold. Um, I will just say... I am absolutely desperate to also read, uh, oh my goodness, I'm just going to put the title here because I cannot remember the name of it, but Christiana Brand, who is the author of the um, Nanny McPhee books, also wrote detective mysteries and a whole series, and I want to give these a try. Heads you lose, and now I'm remembering the name of it. Uh, so I really want to give that a try and see if I like it, um, and if I do, then just continue on. And... Um, yeah, I just, I really want to try it. I would love to find another author, kind of like Josephine Tay, Agatha Christie, uh, to enjoy. So I think that is everything, all of the mysteries that I hold. Um, please let me know if you have tried any of these series and if you are planning on reading any mysteries soon. Thank you as always for watching and I will be back with another video soon. Bye.